morning everyone today is monday august 23rd it is currently 6 23 a.m usually i don't wake up this late but today i woke up at six o'clock because today is a late start day that means i go to school late usually i start at 8 20 but on mondays i will start at i think it's nine um, i could be wrong it could be like 9 05 or whatever if you can't tell by the title today i'm gonna be doing my senior year morning routine i was going to film a after school routine on friday but friday i was so exhausted because i had my senior sunrise if you don't know what senior sunrise is it's a thing where seniors go to school really in the morning and then go to school really early in the morning and you watch the sunrise together and basically the same thing at the end of the year you go watch the sunset it's a really cute thing we do but I live in California, specifically the valley, so the sky is nowhere near as cute as it would be in like other places in the world. So we didn't really have a sunrise really, it was just like the sky lit up because the pollution there. Literally, I kid you not, Friday they had to cancel all school activities because there was literal ash falling in the air. Yeah, so Friday I had my senior sunrise and I woke up at 3.45 just so I can get ready. I just, I didn't like have the motivation or energy to even like film that early or to even like film like after school because i would have done like an after school video but i just didn't even have like any kind of like energy at all so obviously not every morning it's like this because some mornings i'm running late some mornings i have a lot of extra time it all depends on the day today i have hopefully extra time because it's late start and i woke up early so i'm gonna split my hair in two sections and i'm gonna look crazy um i don't know if i'm gonna film doing my hair or not but uh, yeah, I'll get back to you. Okay, so my hair is all did and 6.55 right now. I'm gonna put on some light makeup, meaning just like concealer, mascara, and then I'm gonna get dressed. While I do my makeup, I'm going to give you guys some little tips for high school. If you are going into high school, if you're a freshman, hell, even if you're a sophomore, because if you're a sophomore, you're basically like a freshman, to, to be honest. The first tip I would definitely like give to someone is do not slack off at all. Literally, every little thing counts. I'm not joking. Every little thing counts. Every assignment, every homework, every quiz, every assessment, everything counts. I would recommend just do, do not slack off. It, freshman year is really easy. Um, sophomore year is a little bit harder. It's It just gets harder as it goes, honestly. I feel like junior year was the hardest so far. If you take chemistry, that's a pain in the ass. Chemistry is a lot it doesn't really matter like it doesn't matter what grade you're in if you're taking chemistry that's just gonna be a lot i'm taking chemistry right now because i want to go to a four-year college and it's not required but it'll look good on the um i literally forgot what it's called it'll look good when i'm applying i guess i forgot what it was called taking so many years of science and math and all that it's gonna look good technically right now i could take just two classes i could drop my extra math class i could drop my extra science class I want to get into like a certain school but like if I really want to get into like a four-year right away instead of like a community college I need to take like extra classes another tip I have for high school is to keep your group small keep it as small as possible I'm not kidding even to have one friend it just I would recommend just keeping one or two friends around than having a big group of people because just having a lot of people that's just gonna be like there's gonna be some kind of drama I know freshman year there was like this one guy that everyone in my friend group liked at some point or at the same time everyone liked him and Nathan if you're watching this I hope you weren't but you probably already knew that but um <laughs> So it was just really funny because it was like a big group of friends, but as the years have gone by, my group has gotten smaller and smaller. Like I had like a group of like 10 friends and now it's just a group of three. I don't know why I'm ranting about my personal life, just I recommend keeping your group as small as possible. Literally, if you just have one friend, don't even stress about it because the smaller it is, the better it is. Another thing I would do is to start off the year strong. Do not slack off. Like, don't even start procrastinating on the first assignment. On the first day of school, if you get an assignment, do it right away. Like, don't just, like, wait till you get home or, like, wait till, like, the next day or you know anything like that do it as soon as possible that way you get into the habit of not procrastinating and getting work done on time it saves you so much time it saves you so much stress it's just so much easier i totally recommend that another tip i would give for you in high school is to not stress yourself out i know that's easier said than done but do not think that it is the end of the world if you fail a test obviously it sucks that you fail a test but honestly it's it's not going to be the end of the world sure it'll affect your grade 
you know probably by either a lot or a little it depends on the test but it's not going to be the end of the world if you're cool with your teacher speaking of it, be cool with your teacher if you're cool with your teacher take a retake if you're not cool with your teacher try to figure out some extra credit or you know try to like do better on the next test try not to stress yourself out too much when i was a freshman i was really stressed out i was stressed out over the littlest things because i was like oh my god i just failed a test or oh my god i didn't study like oh my god i'm not gonna graduate like that's not how it is at least where my school is it's not how it is so it's okay if you like don't do an a plus or an 100 percent on a test just set goals for yourself to do better the next time or just fix your mistake honestly another goal i have is to set goals for yourself whether that could be really good or small goals whether it could be like getting straight a's doing a new sport doing a new club set goals for yourself because when you have goals for yourself it keeps you motivated because when you don't have any goals or like anything planned you're just sitting there like a lump on a log with nothing to do or no motivation at least when you have a goal you're like okay i want to do this i need to have this or i need to do that i hope you understand I'm not really good at the best at explaining, especially so early in the morning. Okay, so I'm gonna do my mascara off camera and I will be back. Okay, so I just did my mascara and I'm going to give you guys a little bit more tips. I would recommend is to get involved as much as possible. I'm kind of like a shy person when it comes to doing new things or meeting new people, but once I get the ball rolling, I could be like a full-on extrovert, to be honest. That's why I'm like a mix of both. I could be like an introvert and an extrovert, so it all depends. Try to get involved as much as you can, get into clubs, get into sports, make new friends friends basically just get involved do as many things as you can on campus as possible don't slack off set goals for yourself get involved keep your group small as small as possible and i forgot the last one or if there's even more but yeah those are my high school tips right now it is currently 709 so i have about an hour and a half to finish getting ready right now i'm gonna go make my water bottle uh pack some snacks for school and i will wait back to you Honestly, I wish it was already cold outside that way I could just wear my Disney crew neck or whatever. Oh my god, it looks so weird. My water is all made. This is my little bottle going on. I got some stickers on it. A pack of pack of gushers. I want to try them. I honestly have not tried these yet, so hopefully they're good. Oh, I'll bring a banana. I really want a banana today. I'm not sure if I should eat breakfast today. I mean, I have time, but it's kind of like a big bag to be honest. What? Zip it up real quick. Oh God, this is so hard to do one-handed. <laughs> so for today, I'm just gonna wear like this little brown ruffle top from Airy, and then just some blue jeans from American Eagle. I just put on some perfume. I'm using Chance by Chanel. Good morning. Stay safe. <gasps> My battery's flashing. Oh. Okay, my battery's flashing. Do you need backpacks for a Backpack, my water bottle, my shirt, my backpack. I don't know why I keep talking. Yeah, that is my morning routine. Right now it's 8.17, so I'm gonna leave right now. Oh my god, my hair is weird. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Um, if you have any video requests, comment down below, and I hope you guys enjoy. Bye, guys.